Hello friends, welcome to Basic Electrical YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to provide a solution for this MCQs, uh, which is related to Basic Electrical Engineering Lab. So these questions will be asked in Viva format in some colleges. Okay, and this is uh, set two. Okay, so let's start with the first question. In previous video, I have done for uh, set one. Okay, now this is uh, set to page number two of that material. I got this material from my subscriber. Okay, who is regular touch with me? So next is uh, Kirchhoff's laws are applicable to DC circuit, AC circuit, both DC and AC, none of the above. So both AC and DC circuit, this law is applicable. Okay, DC hundred percent applicable. AC circuit 95% applicable because AC is a complex quantity. Okay. However, both are applicable. Okay. Lot of uh, discussion will be in AC circuit application of KVL. Okay. Need not worry. Uh, but as per as since you are first year students, you can strongly fix to this point both AC and DC. The power factor of AC circuit is given by R by Z kilowatt by KVA. Cosine of the angle between voltage and current, all of the above. See, correct answer is all of the above. See, look at here. Power factor formula is R by Z. Okay. And we can also find power factor from voltage equation that is Vr by V. And we can also find power formula by using power factor formula by using power relations that is P by S. What is P? Active power. What is the unit of active power? Watt. What is yes apparent power unit of apparent power is volt ampere for a year rating it will be kilowatt and this will be kva so this is this option is given in the question so this is correct this option is given in the question this is correct and one more simple equation is power factor formula is cos theta or cos pi what is this pi angle between voltage and current the angle between voltage and current is called power factor that is cosine of the angle between voltage and current so therefore uh, we can select all of the above okay got it next in a three phase star connected system the line voltage is equal to phase voltage root three, root, root three times of phase voltage root two times of phase voltage three into phase voltage so correct option is root 3 times of phase voltage in star connection line voltage is root 3 times of phase voltage got it next the transformer core is laminated to see core is laminated uh, let me read the options what is the purpose the core is laminated reducing eddy current loss reduce hysteresis loss increase copper loss increase hysteresis loss 100 percent the core is laminated to reduce now option is uh, reduce iron loss only okay core means iron only iron loss or core loss both are correct in types of iron loss are eddy current and distress loss so the correct option is to reduce eddy current losses the transformer core is laminated then how to reduce hysteresis loss by selecting proper core material we can reduce hysteresis loss okay so next water is to be regularly poured into the earthing pit to keep the resistance low keep resistance high to keep the area cool none of the above so first option is correct to keep the resistance low see in summer season okay it become a dry condition okay the earth will be get dried so therefore in order to keep the moisture in good condition we are going to pour water okay from top of the earth pit one funnel will be there in that funnel if you put water that water go into the um, earth deepest point um, where earth plate earth plate is there okay plate earth thing or pipe earth thing so this water going to surround around that entire uh, uh, pipe plate earth thing or uh, plate earth thing okay plate or pipe earth thing okay surrounded by plate or surrounded by pipe so that will keep the resistance low if the resistance is less means uh, the leakage current will pass as fast as possible okay got it next the direction of emf generated in dc generator is obtained by fleming's right hand rule lens law lens law both one and two and don't dot ruler no dot rule 
so it is uh, fleming's uh, right hand rule okay with the help of the fleming's right hand rule we can determine direction of emf generated in a generator okay or direction of emf induced in a generator that can be easily found out by fleming's right hand rule next which dc motor is preferred when it is to start against greater load so in the second set of paper this question already i explained in previous video so please go through that series only in alternator conductor is stationary field is revolving field is stationary conductor is revolving see again this question also repeated so first option is correct okay conductor is stationary field will be rotate that alternator only we are using commonly okay for generating uh, power in the power stations the slip speed is given by ns minus n what is tariff the rate at which fixing the rate at which electrical energy is supplied to the consumers is called tariff so uh, this uh, last four questions is same as uh, set 1 okay so thank you guys for watching the video so please uh, share this uh, video or to your uh, friends of your college okay i don't know which college material it is so i received from one of my subscriber okay thanks for watching meet your next video next set of this this is set 2 okay set 